Hello, my name is Jessica, and I'm one of the educators here at Bywater Solutions. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up the new system preference to automatically generate item information for order files. The first thing you'll want to do is log into your staff client. Once you're logged into the staff client, we're going to come over to Koha Administration and select our global system preferences. Once we're in our global system preferences, we're going to stay right on acquisitions and we're going to scroll down to a new system preference called Mark Item Fields to Order. This new system preference allows us to map values for the new item records created from a mark record in a staged file. So for example, if you're using Baker and Taylor or Ingram or Brodart or YBP to grab those mark records from their website and bring those into Koha, this will let you create new item records from these specific fields. Now, when you set this up, this field will be empty. So what you'll want to do is use the following fields. Now down below, it will identify which fields you can use. Your home branch, holding branch, item type, non-public note, public note, shelving location, collection code, not for loan value, your copy note price, replacement price, or item call number. Now, we've used the 975 fields to identify um, those proper subfields that we want to map. So here you can see what you'll do is you'll identify the code first. So we've typed out home branch followed by a colon and then the field. So 975, we're using the dollar symbol to identify the subfield and then the A. Once you have filled in those codes, you can come over um, and down to the bottom, we're going to select Save All Acquisitions System Preferences. Now, the next step that you're going to want to do is go to your vendor's website. Again, whether it's Baker & Taylor, Ingram, Brodart, YBP, you'll want to log in and identify these proper item types, um, home branch, holding branch, and things like that. All of those fields have to be identified at your vendor's websites, whether they use a mark template or a grid um, or some type of setup that lets you identify these fields. This will ensure that when you download and export those mark records from your vendor's website, that they know that you're using those 975 fields. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this up, please visit bywatersolutions.com slash blog for more information. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. My name is Jessica, and I'm an educator here at Bywater Solutions.